Hello and welcome everyone. Yes, so as you can see we have our rocket here and uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys um, I made a very big change to my rocket design as you guys can see uh, I made a video a while ago basically describing you know if you guys were to you know build the same kind of rocket what you need to do and all these other good things now I kinda just went into one of my uh, this is from the jewel carrier which I uploaded last night uh, yeah I am still I'm going to launch that eventually uh, I still need to refuel it and a bunch of other fantastic things but yeah, that's going to be one big mission. I, I, I don't even honestly know how many parts that mission's going to be, but... Yeah, so I wanted to get down to the design of this rocket, because the one I posted before, uh, this design has changed a little bit, because, uh, yeah, I, I found that... I remember one person posted something about, you know, hey, you should, uh, you know, use a little bit less parts, and, you know, you should do you know all kinds of things now I think I need to take off this strut here yeah uh, yeah so I um I eventually just redesigned it and I will show you guys exactly what I did in order to redesign this rocket because there was a lot of things it, it was a lot of a little bit of trial and error with a lot of things but basically, I, I'm not going to go through all the engines. If you guys have watched my other episode, you know exactly how I attached all these pieces together and everything else. Now, basically, but I'll still break it down for you. Um, basically, you got your, um, your large decouplers right here around the outside. There is six of them. Yes, six of them. And then I put struts holding these pieces together, which I could maybe remove. I'm not 100% sure on that. I would actually have to do another test. Um, and this is just to get the parts down. You know, like the main thing, you can have like a really awesome rocket design, but if it's like way too many parts, by the time you go to launch with a payload, it's kind of, you know, worthless. But how this is designed is actually really awesome because this allows me to change the the inner the innards of the rocket a little bit too because I can detach this whole piece and it it's basically all the engines and all the fuel in one one piece so that's one thing I will say that maybe when you guys are designing your rockets is kind of a it's a little bit of a plus because you can change out a payload really easily not to mention I could redesign this rocket to be a little bit different without having to go through and actually designing the whole engine portion and everything else, which I know a lot of you guys, including myself, find it to be kind of annoying every time you make a new rocket, and uh, yeah, you don't have like a really good, you know, baseline platform kind of thing. So yeah, this is the... Um, the unmanned one though so my manned one is you know still kind of rusty uh, you know on the design I, I really need to go through it but you can basically just attach these huge orange tanks and I don't really like these just because of the color and everything else I wish they made an orange you know or I wish they made a tank that was the same thing as this but it was just gray you know I, I <gasps> I really wish that they would change, allow you to change the colors or, you know, something. You know, it, it would be kind of, it'd make things a little bit better. So, you know, it's the same thing, same design a little bit. Um, you know, you take your, your struts and you can either attach them here or you can attach them to the decoupler, which I'm finding that attaching them here for certain payloads is okay, but for a really really heavy payload it's good to attach right at the decoupler and I'm not really too sure I, I, I know it has something to do with the g-forces of launching and everything else but it, it's just kind of a little bit of a silly thing like hey this rocket sometimes just completely breaks up 
and randomly it just really depends on the payloads like I usually build everything to be very very stable and for some reason uh, just with that one payload that I was trying to lift it would constantly the one thing that would usually happen is it would break right at the decoupler and then the whole rocket would basically smash through the uh, the rest of the payload which wasn't really a fun thing to figure out on how to fix because it I probably launched somewhere around like I don't even know 20 times 30 times before I got it right yeah and you know with these fuel lines I put these here kind of it's not really like it needed in any of the design at all but what ends up happening too is when you launch a really heavy payload say you're launching like fuel like I did with the um, the jewel carrier uh, if you if you watched the jewel carrier episode uh, it had five of these large tanks in launching them full I probably wouldn't have made it to orbit but what I ended up doing is I took a decoupler and this small tank and I basically just attached it right to the side and I because it was five tanks I relayed the fuel through the small ones and then out to these big ones and that ended up completely removing all the weight on the top of the payload but I'm also delivering it in basically empty tanks so you know you have to take your uh, you can only win your battles you know so yeah um, now with the SAS too I mean you don't really need it a lot of other things you don't really need but um, you know if you're just launching something really small I use the I guess I should show this engine since I never really do it I usually use this one on this stage just because it's pretty much the best engine in a sense for me uh, having this big one you're using too much fuel and these smaller ones really you know it, it really it really helps out in a sense so but yeah uh, I, I figure I should show you guys this nothing has really changed with the solid rocket boosters on the outside um, I haven't changed any of the uh, winglets or anything like that it was mostly just this and a few other really minor changes um, the the earlier design also had uh, decouplers going all the, the radial decouplers going all the way down the side I got rid of all of those I got rid of the nose cones and um, I did have the uh, little whatever those things are the they're the sepatrons I had a whole bunch of, I had you know a bunch on here you guys saw at the beginning of the episode and you know this design so far has worked out very well for me the only problem I guess I could say is that uh, yeah I, I occasionally it breaks up but not always it, it, I guess it just really has to depend on the payload the one thing I will say is do not do the orange tank in the center I, I had an orange tank in the center for a little bit and what ends up happening is because it's such a long part I guess the uh, physics with the long this long fuel tank it um, doesn't really have any leeway to bend whereas these three pieces together these three fuel tanks in the center you know it can bend a little bit more and uh, you know it won't break up once you get near orbit because d near orbit with these things for some reason too they once again act a little funky so I use these mostly just to get myself um, you know through the atmosphere uh, you know off the ground and you know into like a uh, I can't think of it suborbital trajectory there you go uh, but yeah anyways guys I'm sorry for, it's not the longest episode you know I've been doing a little bit of the shorter episodes and uh, you know I, it's not that I don't have time it's just uh, you know there's not too much to cover as far as what I've been doing and you know with the jewel 
rockets and everything else. I guess I should say the dual, dual ships. Uh, you know, I've been basically working my butt off to make sure that those rockets work perfectly and everything else. And, you know, I had my girlfriend over and I was playing this game and she was just sitting there watching me, like, trying to dock, um, you know, the five pieces together. And she's, like, laughing at me because I can't even do it. But, um, you know, I, I finally got them all done. And um, I'm probably going to build a smaller... A little bit of a smaller ship, but it's also going to be an interplanetary one, and it's going to be, you know, more of a uh, utility kind of ship. I'm not sure. The one thing I'm planning on is the new update. Um, I think they are going to be adding the mining portion to the game. I'm not sure what's going to be put in, but I will definitely do in, uh, you know, cover the new update and everything else and let you guys know what's going on. Um, but... I, I think they're going to be adding the mining portion to the game, in which case I would really love to have some kind of a rocket already set up where it, you know, it's got the ability to hold like one or two landers along with, uh, you know, being able to just carry an insane amount of fuel, um, not like too crazy, but enough to get it around a planet or a moon and then I can go mining and, you know, replenish all the uh, fuel used which is kind of like one of my main things I think would be amazing to add and to have a ship that's kind of you know self sustains and that would just be an awesome thing to have it, it's just the uh, the one thing I'm going to have to figure out is the payloads and all that other good stuff but I'll figure that out later but for now if you guys haven't checked it out I have a Facebook set up and a Twitter and I post every one of my updates or when my videos come out. And, you know, if I post any other r random jibba jabba, I'll let you guys know. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.